Hi everybody, it's Diane here from The Scented Bohemian. Today I want to show you how to make hand sanitizer using 99% uh, pure alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and aloe vera gel. I'm also going to add a little bit of vegetable glycerin in there and um, a few drops of essential oils. So let's get started. Um, so we'll make sure I've got this positioned so you can see. So uh, I've started measuring my rubbing alcohol already. Um, so this recipe makes one cup of hand sanitizer. So I'm going to start with two thirds cups of uh, rubbing alcohol. And then pour that into a larger vessel. And then I'm going to add some pure aloe vera gel. Now you want to make sure what you're using is actually pure, otherwise it won't mix well. Um, so this is uh, a very thick substance, so you got to give it a shake before you, you whoops, before you pour. It kind of burped out at me. So I'm not going to fill my uh, my measure completely full because I want to add some uh, vegetable glycerin uh, in there as well. And uh, there's no uh, particular reason why I'm doing it. Uh, it's just because I've got uh, some of both. Um, so I'm going to fill this to the top. So the glycerin is a little bit um, more viscous than the aloe vera gel. So hopefully it'll help to uh, emulsify a little bit better. So this um, recipe has a different consistency than uh, what you're used to seeing with the commercial brand. So it's going to be more liquidy because we're not using uh, any type of uh, artificial emulsifier. Um, so this is chemical free. So now we're just going to add some essential oil. So this, I'm using grapefruit today. So this brand here that now is one of my favorites. I've been using it for many years now uh, and I trust it. Um, you can buy these at uh, your uh, local health food stores. So I'm going to count out 10, 10 drops or so. And now I'm going to uh, give this a whisk. So um, you can see it's quite um, cloudy. Uh, and you can see that the aloe vera gel uh, takes a while to break up. So you want to keep whisking until you get um, a more of a clear uh, consistency. And so I'm using a larger vessel here because uh, it splashes up. You want to get alcohol everywhere in your kitchen. Uh, and it's always a good idea when you're mixing stuff like this uh, to make sure that your, your instruments, whatever tools you're using, your measuring cups, etc., are uh, sterilized prior to use. So today I'm going to pour this into individual um, bottles, which I'm then going to label. Um, so I've got a funnel here to help um, control the mess. Uh, and uh, I'm going to continue uh, whisking in between every pour so that uh, the mix doesn't have a chance to separate. So these are two ounce bottles. You'll get four two ounce bottles uh, per batch. So now you're gonna whisk again. And then just keep pouring. So you can also just use uh, a one ounce bottle if you prefer. Uh, or sorry, not a one ounce, an eight ounce bottle if you prefer, or split it into two four ounce bottles. So these are pump bottles. Um, so you just pump it out. Uh, you can put it in a squeeze bottle as well, or even in a spray bottle. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.